Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Novation. I am Shantanu and I am really very excited for today's session that is on pronouns. So this is the second part of our parts of speech series which is a very important topic for English grammar. Or aapke aane wale exam, IFT, ZAT, CMAT, TISNAT and even your bank exam, this is going to be really very important. So friends, as always, I request you to please visit the website novation.in जहाँ पर जाके आप quizzes दे सकते हैं, video resources download कर सकते हैं और अगर आपको Novation का content अच्छा लगता है, तो Novation को support कर सकते हैं. So friends, with this, let's jump straight into today's session. First thing first, what are pronouns? सर्वनाम क्या होते हैं? So friends, pronouns are nothing but words that टेक प्लेस ऑफ अ नाउन इन अ सेंटेंस नाउन को जिन शब्दों से रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही यू आर्स दमसेल्फ सम ईच एटसेट्रा नाउ नाउन्स को रिप्लेस करने की जरूरत ही क्यों पड़ती है आप सोचेंगे सो so, अगर हमारे पास प्रनाउंस नहीं होते सो so हमको बार बार नाउन्स को रिपीट करना पड़ता विल हैव टू रिपीट नाउन्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट लेट्स सी एन एग्जाम्पल अमन इज द बेस्ट फ्रेंड ऑफ अमृता Aman has done many projects with Amrita. Aman and Amrita are uh, they like to eat uh, pizza. So friends, यहाँ पर कितनी बार मैं नाम ले रहा हूँ Aman Amrita का. I'm taking their names a lot many times. So uh, इस repetition को खत्म करने के लिए हम pronouns का use करेंगे. So Aman is the best friend of Amrita. I have used both the nouns once. He has done many projects with her. He here refers to uh, to Aman and her refers to Amrita. They like to eat pizza. Here, both of them are combined, Aman and Amrita. So, friends, this is the use of pronouns. You make your sentence smaller and more meaningful. चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं. Now, we are going to see four most important types of pronouns. There are many other, but these are the four uh, which you should know: personal, reflexive, indefinite, and interrogative. Let's start with personal pronoun. So, as you can understand from the name, personal pronouns represent specific people. और स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स एंड दे आर कैटेगराइज इन टू सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउंस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउंस नो फ्रेंड्स इन अ सेंटेंस देर आर टू मेजर पार्ट सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट सो सब्जेक्ट इज बेसिकली द डूअर जो कुछ काम कर रहा हो एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इज समवन और समथिंग ऑन विच द वर्क हैज बीन डन ऑब्जेक्ट यानी कि जिसपे कुछ काम हो रहा हो ऑल राइट सो अगर सब्जेक्ट की बात करें तो प्रोनाउंस uh, होते हैं आई और उसको अगर ऑब्जेक्ट में कन्वर्ट करेंगे देन इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू मी सिमिलरली यू विल रिमेन यू ही इज अ सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन विच गेट कन्वर्टेड इनटू हिम शी इज अ सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन विच व्हेन यूज्ड एज अ ऑब्जेक्ट इज यूज्ड एज हर सिमिलरली यू कैन सी ऑल दीज आर सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउंस लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउंस विद एन विद सम एग्जाम्पल्स सो आई लाइक योर ड्रेस हियर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज आई एज माई एज अ सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन ओके आई कैनॉट यूज मी हियर बिकॉज दैट विल बी एन ऑब्जेक्ट यहाँ पे आई काम कौन कर रहा है ऑब्जेक्ट कौन है आई ओके सो आई कैनॉट यूज मी हियर नाउ कंपेरिंग इट विथ कैन यू हेल्प मी ओके सो हियर मी एक्ट एज अ ऑब्जेक्ट सो आई कैनॉट यूज आई हियर कैन यू हेल्प आई नो कैन यू हेल्प मी सिमिलरली यू आर यू आर लेट सो यू इज माई ऑब्जेक्ट ही इज माई फ्रेंड इट इज रेनिंग ओके सिमिलरली हियर आई कैन सी यू सो यू रिमेन्स यू इट डज नॉट गेट चेंज इवन इन सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट she does not like him so she is the object here so it's an object pronoun and him acts as a uh, object pronoun here this is a subject pronoun this is object pronoun i saw her in the town so uh, she kas kis mein convert ho gaya her mein when it is a object and i is the subject uh, coming to uh, the application of this rule so let's say we have a sentence aman and amrita play together Now let's say Aman uh, wants to uh, say this sentence. This same sentence Aman wants to say. So in me se kaun sa option sahi hoga? Aap log uh, pause kar sakte hain aur iska answer khud se tick kar sakte hain. Okay? So main aapko answer batata hu. Me and Amrita play together. Friends, is this correct? No, friends. This is not correct. Can we use me as a subject pronoun? We see that me is a object pronoun, so no, this is not correct. I and Amrita play together. हाँ दोस्तों दिस इज एक्चुअली करेक्ट आई एंड अमृता प्ले टूगेदर दिस इज करेक्ट अमृता एंड आई प्ले टूगेदर यस दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट बिकॉज अमृता इज यूज एज नाउन एंड आई इज अ सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन अमृता एंड मी प्ले टूगेदर नो इन सब्जेक्ट वी कैन नॉट यूज मी ही सो दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग नाउ आउट ऑफ दीज टू सेंटेंस बोथ आर ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट बट वॉट वी यूज इन आर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज दिस सी सेंटेंस 
because it is considered uh, you know you, you are giving respect to somebody else when you are uh, using his or her name before yourself so humne amrita ka naam pehle liya khud se so that is giving uh, respect to amrita so that's why in any of your question you will prefer the sentence structure in this way first the name of the other person and then i that is the subject pronoun so i hope this is clear dono correct hai friends but we will use c aage badhte hain now coming to reflexive pronouns let's see what these are so reflexive pronouns are used when we want to refer back to the subject of the sentence so uh, uh, ye pronoun tab use honge when i want to get back or refer back to the original subject of my sentence so these type of pronouns end with self or selves self ka end hoga jab singular ho aur selves plural ke liye end hota hai so words like myself yourself himself herself itself ourselves yourself themselves are called reflexive pronouns let's see the example i saw myself in the mirror so friends yahan par myself kisko point kar raha hai it is referring back to i so it is a reflexive pronoun why do you blame yourself now here yourself is referring back to you so it is also a reflexive pronoun they cannot look after themselves so i am referring back to they hence themselves is also a reflexive pronoun i hope aapko ye clear ho gaya acche se now let's see what are indefinite pronouns now friends as you can understand from the name indefinite that means i am not uh, particularly pointing to a specific person or a specific thing or an per specific amount i am not pointing to anything specific that's why it is not definite or some vagueness is there so let's see the example anybody everybody nobody somebody anyone everyone so uh, you can understand like i'm not talking about one person i'm saying that anybody uh, knows him or everybody here is standing so i'm not pointing to someone it is a lot of vagueness is there i'm just combining everyone and talking to them all right so let's see some rules about uh, these indefinite pronouns first is we use a singular verb after a indefinite pronoun so whenever there will be an indefinite pro- pronouns for example everything so i'm not pointing to one thing i'm taking a vague uh, thing like everything here i'm going to use a singular verb this is a singular uh, helping verb so agar plural mein convert hota to were and uh, here i'm using was because this this is our rule everything was ready for the party when uh, we refer back to an indefinite pronoun we use a plural pronoun chaliye isko example se samajhte hain so everybody so everybody is my indefinite pronoun enjoyed the movie now mujhe everybody ke bare mein kuch comment karna hai so main yahan par ek plural pronoun ka use karunga they is a plural pronoun that we all know so they stood up and clapped main ye nahi bol sakta ke he stood up and clapped okay so because there are lots of people so they stood up and clapped because i'm referring back to Uh, the indefinite pronoun so i hope friends this is also clear next is interrogative pronouns so friends as the name suggests interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions hum inse questions puchte hain the main interrogative pronoun include what which who whom and whose chaliye inko ek ek karke dekhte hain so first is what now what is an interrogative pronoun that ask for the name of things now i can ask uh, various uh, things like name of the things in a general manner so what do you want to eat there can be n number of things that one person might want to eat n number of dishes so here i have used what but jab main bahut specific ho jaunga ya main kisi ek group ke bare mein baat karunga then i'm going to use which which ask for a specific person or thing from a group for example maine bola ke uh, out of all the dishes i say that um, agar ek pizza ki category baat kare hum so which type of pizza do you want to eat so i have defined dishes i have made a category of dishes that is pizza there can be n number of pizza in this category now i'm going to choose from them that's why i'm going to use which here another example which of these bags is yours now out of many things i have categorized things into one category that is bags now out of these bags i'm asking which of these bags is yours so i hope what or which mein antar clear hua hoga coming to next that is whose now whose jab bhi hum use karenge then we want to know about the ownership let's see example whose car did you drive here so now i want to know the owner of the car uh, whom car whose car uh, the person is drove coming to who now this is a subject pronoun that ask about a person or a thing so let's see an example 
हु वॉन येस्टरडे नाउ सिंस दिस इज सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन मेरा जो आंसर होगा दैट विल कम इन टू द सब्जेक्ट लाइक हियर नडाल वॉन येस्टरडे सो द आंसर कम्स इन द सब्जेक्ट कमिंग टू होम नाउ दिस इज अब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन सो ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन दैट आस्क अबाउट अ पर्सन और अ थिंग नाउ होम डिड यू इन्वाइट now my answer will have my uh, the answer will be in the object because whom is there so i invited ram i hope friends ye do rules bhi aapko clear ho gaye honge now coming to some important practice questions all right so uh, first of all as usual underline all the pronouns in the following sentences okay so alice lives on 21 street she is my best friend okay so she here is my pronoun okay although she okay she is one pronoun lives next door i i is another pro pronoun rarely see her her so friends her is also a object pronoun uh, object personal pronoun okay uh, next uh, friends aap pause karke khud se bhi answer kar sakte hain and then you can check your answers my father is a shopkeeper sometimes i so i is a pronoun here i go to work with him and him is also a object uh, pronoun object personal pronoun next the president himself promised to stop the war so here the pronoun is himself that is the reflexive pronoun coming to the next type of questions now we have to uh, fill in the blank so friends aap pause karke khud se try kar sakte hain and then you can resume the video first dash are having trouble getting back to the hotel so friends here you see that are is a plural helping verb so with plural i need to have a plural noun or a plural pronoun so i i cannot use they yes this is correct uh, this is a plural pronoun so i can use it he is also wrong because it is singular so my correct answer here will be they akshat wanted to watch tv with dash now uh, first myself can i use myself of course no i am not pointing back to akshat and in any manner akshat wanted to watch tv with them yes this seems to be correct friends because uh, i can use them here as the object pronoun akshat wanted to watch tv with she no she is a subject pronoun i cannot use it here so them is my correct answer every monday aman goes for swimming with dash friends okay so with uh, with himself friend no this does not make any sense with his friends हाँ दोस्तों वो उसके दोस्तों के साथ जाता है स्विमिंग के लिए सो हिज इज करेक्ट कैन आई यूज देयर ऑफकोर्स नो वाई बिकॉज अमन इज सिंगुलर आई कैनॉट यूज देयर विच इज अ प्लूरल प्रोनाउन हियर नेक्स्ट थ्री ऑफ डैश वेंट टू द शॉप विथ रेखा ओके सो थ्री दिस मीन्स दिट इज प्लूरल ग्रुप सो वी कैन आई यूज वी थ्री ऑफ वी वेंट टू नो दिस इज नॉट ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन सो आई कैनॉट यूज इट हियर थ्री ऑफ आवर सेल्फ कैन आई कैन आई यूज रिफ्लेक्सिव हियर am i pointing to them no this is incorrect so three of us this is the most correct option here okay now coming to the next type of question that is mcqs now friends here you can pause the video and try the question and then resume the video when ravi won the lottery he pinched dash to make sure he wasn't dreaming okay let's see the option he pinched his to make sure no this is not correct he pinched our self I, am i talking about a lot of people here no he pinched himself yes this is perfect this is right he pinched herself no since i know that this is a male uh, it is written he here i cannot use her here my correct answer is c next the dog got dash tail in the door okay so it is this means when whenever there is a apostrophe it means it is the dog caught it is tail in the door no this does not make a sense okay it's this means that it is showing possession the dog's tail so this this is showing possession so the dog uh, the dog caught its tail in the door so this looks pretty much correct because i'm talking about possession the dog's tail okay so next the dog caught itself tail in the door no this is does not, this does not make any logical sense the dog caught it tail in the door no this is also not correct my correct answer is b next question father and dash are in the kitchen i help dash in chopping the vegetable okay so father and dash are in the kitchen pehle isko tackle karte hain now here father and me 
स्टूडेंट्स हियर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सब्जेक्ट क्योंकि ये लोग काम कर रहे हैं सो कैन आई यूज मी हियर विच इज ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन नो दिस ऑप्शन इज इन करेक्ट अगेन मी आई कैन डायरेक्टली रिमूव इट फादर एंड आई आर इन द किचन ओके सो दिस लुक्स गुड टू मी फादर एंड आई आर इन द किचन आई हेल्प डैश इन चॉपिंग द वेजिटेबल्स हिम हिम इज द करेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन सो माई सी इज परफेक्ट आई आई रिजेक्ट द लास्ट ऑप्शन बिकॉज ऑफ हिज I help his in chopping the vegetable. His is not the correct form of pronoun which can be used here. So friends, uh, I hope this is clear. Next, those are my brothers. Dash names are Rahul and Hemant. Okay, so I have two brothers here. So they are plural. Their name. So friends, their points to a place. I am pointing toward my uh, brothers. So their is not correct. Those names are no. This is also not correct. Their. So friend, their shows possession. Unka naam. So their is correct. Them names. Okay, this is also incorrect. My correct answer is C. Next, he blamed Dash for their misfortune. So first option himself. He blamed himself. Yes, friend. So this correctly reflects back to he. If I use himself here, so himself is correct. He blamed his for mis his for their misfortune. No. He blamed once. No. he blame mine this is also not correct my correct answer is a himself all right friends so with that we come to an end to this pronoun session i hope the session was helpful and thanks a lot for watching and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to novation for more such important uh, parts of speech and grammar videos with that friends i'll again request you that please do visit novation.in jahan par aap video resources download kar sakte hain quiz de sakte hain aur agar aapko novation ka content acha lagta hai to novation ko donate bhi kar sakte hain so friends uh, thanks a lot i'll meet you again next time with another awesome video until then bye bye and please take care